Rockies. Oh. <laughs> Me. I left my work shoes at home, and so I was at work, working in my motorcycle boots today. <laughs> oh, I'm such a knob. I'm such a knob. Such a big fat knob. And now I need petrol, but this stupid petrol station up from here around the corner, they make you take your helmet off, otherwise they don't let the pump go on. Last time I went in there, I got annoyed and just left. It's like, why? Why do I need to take my helmet off, please? Please tell me why. I didn't go in the shop, I couldn't be asked. Like, they were just shouting at me through the window, like miming, you know, like, can you take your helmet off? And I was miming back, no. No, I'm not going to take my helmet off. And I just left in a strop. <laughs> So we won't, we won't do that again. We won't have a repeat, repeat episode of stropping. Ah, it's quite nice eateries around here, aren't there? It's quite cute. This is Petersfield. It's nice. Petersfield looks nice. I always ride through it on the A272, but I never actually stop. Yeah, a few of my co-workers noticed that I was... Wow, you're a bit weird. They noticed that I was um, not wearing my proper work shoes. Like, why are you squeaking so much? <laughs> well, actually, uh, it's because I was a knob and I forgot my work shoes. Yeah, this is that petrol station that makes you take your helmet off. It's just fucking ridiculous. Let's go to one that I actually like. Oh, Jesus, those cobblestones are fucking horrible. Why? Why do you put cobblestones on a corner, eh? Why? Why? I like this bit around here. There's a little lake. And all the houses are big. I like big houses. Although it would get annoying to live in one, wouldn't it? Because then you've got all these rooms to clean that you'd like hardly ever use, so... Look at them. Look at those. Oh, man. Oh, look at the lake as well. Oh, it's got a little walkway. I did not know there was a little walkway. Ah, oh, it'd be a nice spot in the summer to have a picnic and feed the duckies. Duckies! I was coming this way this morning and some duckies were crossing the road. Just like nonchalantly just waddling across across the road like that. Whenever you see ducks walking, do you just imagine that that music that's like I can't even go that low. <laughs> you just imagine that music that's the big trumpet. I don't know what sort of trumpet it's called. I'm not very good with wind instruments. My wind instrument knowledge is crap. I'm more into my string instruments. I like string instruments. I think string instruments are easier to understand than wind instruments because you can see how it works. You see the string moving, see it vibrating and imagine like this sound wave coming out of it. I like sound waves. Whereas wind instruments, it's all wind and you can't see anything. Ah, it's magic. It's just magic. And I like magic, but magic should stay in Harry Potter land, not, not in real life. God, he was a bit over on that corner, wasn't he? A bit enthusiastic thinking he's on the Nürburgring or something. You're not, mate. This is UK's. The UK's. So I edited the last TT video the other day and I haven't actually released it yet on making this video. I mean, by the time you watch this, I will have released it. But I'm waiting for the other one to get a few more views before I release this one. Ah, fuck it. I might just do it when I get home. I can't be asked. Yeah, I'll just do it when I get home. So now that that's over with, I can do some more like test rides and stuff because now my computer won't be so chock full of TT footage. I can just delete all the stuff that's on the computer and just have it on my external drive and on my cards. So there's two copies, guys. Always two copies of your footage. If it's important footage, I've got it on cards at the moment, on my computer, and on the external drive. So three places. So if one of the three fails, I am fine. If two of the three fails, I am fine. If three of the three fails, I am fucked. Well, I'm not anymore, because I've, I've already done it, so that's fine. So now I can just keep it on two. That's fine. Fine, 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 fine. Uh, I'm really hoping this weather, weather times improves soon. We've had enough. We've had enough of the cold. I want the warmness back. Where's my warmness? Like when it's winter, I can't imagine it being warm outside like it is indoors, can you? It's just, it sort of boggles the mind how anywhere can get warmed up outside with the sky there, taking the warmth away. Oh, it's quite nice just letting your arm drag, isn't it? Never done this before. Woo! I love this way home from work. It's much better than the A27. I wish I could do this every day. This road's awesome. 
not this particular little lumpy bit. It was quite straight and boring. But the twisty bits are great. Like this is a village called South Harting, and there's this road that comes up the hill from South Harting and goes east. And it's like little wiggly wigglies through the trees. And in the summer, oh, it's so much fun. Right now, it's a bit, a bit stodgy and horrible. But it should get better again soon. Like the ground here, look at that. It's got, it's got gravels, it's got mud, and it's got petrol. And there's some policings. Hello, policings. Let's follow the policings. I wasn't indicating then. Can you get done for not indicating? Probably. It's because I thought I didn't have to stop because a lot of the time you don't have to stop at that junction because most people are doing the same route and coming out of that junction and round the corner. Oh no, I didn't think this through. I should really have not followed the policings. Maybe they're not going the way through the trees though, you never know. So the city boots weren't actually that uncomfortable all day. It was all right. I remember when I first bought them, they felt so uncomfortable. I bought them online because I was looking for boots for ages, like I mentioned in the TT video. It took me about three or four months. Nah, that's exaggeration. It took like two months after the TT for me to find some boots that I actually liked enough to buy. Uh, so I bought them online without trying them on because I thought, you know, they're, they're city boots. They're gonna be, they're gonna be good. Ah, oh, here's going my way. This is a nice bit through the trees. So I bought them online and when they came, I was like, oh God, they actually feel pretty damn horrible. But I'll, I'll give them a chance because they're city boots and they're quite pretty. So I gave them a chance and I had to wear them just like a couple of hours at first, like in the house, to get them like used to my feet shapes. But after a while, they, they really fit me beautifully now. They're, they're proper like, proper nice on my feet. <coughs> yeah, so in the summer, look, you can imagine in the summer, oh, how horrible is my camera? You can imagine in the summer that this, this was like lovely because it is lovely, it's awesome. See how much shit there is on the road still. Jesus Christ. Oh, my ears are popping. Oh. Yeah, so when I first got these boots, they were shocking and they, they felt disgusting. And now they're like perfectly shaped to my feet. And I'm sure if anybody else wore them, they'd be horrible because they wouldn't be shaped to your feet. No, they're mine now. Jesus, look at all this shit. Oh, he's going in this dogging car park. Yay, freedom. Oh, on the way in today, there was this horrible, massive deer thing that was like mush look out for that you've got to say mush like mush like as in a chav sunshine sunny sunny sunshine come on mate get in the right gear and stop just braking all the way down the hill moron although i guess you could be in an automatic car and then you've got no choice of you although most of them have like a little switch that you can do like low gear high gear thing don't they most of them well, i guess if you're a knob then you're not going to know that but maybe he's a knob maybe he's a she who knows? Oh man, it's like sticky, sticky, wet, visorless. Meh. Oh, there's mud everywhere. It's where all the farmers have been doing their farming stuff on the fields because it's the right time of year, isn't it? Ugh. I've been doing that. I've been a good girl and I did some gardening. Apart from our grass is now like dead because it got so long over the winter and then it just died underneath and only the tips were alive. And then I came along and like chopped all the tips of the grass off. Tips? And then now all the grass is like yellow and short, but I guess it was pretty yellow before and it was like yellow and long. And now it's yellow and short, which is kind of not as bad, but it's still as bad. It'll grow back, it's fine. It's supposed to be rainy for the next few days anyway. And I chopped all the bushes, I've been bush chopping. And now we've got loads of wood, which would be nice to have a little bonfire or something, even though I don't like fire. I don't know whether I've mentioned this before in a video, but I have a, like a complete phobia of fire. I used to have nightmares when I was little of the house burning down. Well, more specifically, uh, it was either my house or mainly my grand's house, actually. I used to have visions, dreams of my grand's house burning down. And there it is. That was the horrible, horrible dead thing. Horrible, horrible, horrible dead thing. I do find when I'm like stressed out with stuff that I have dreams of stuff burning which freaks me out completely which is weird because it's not very helpful although maybe my brain's like oh you don't have to worry about that you have to worry about this and gives me an alternative who knows oh I'm all fucked in the ears it's that hill Meh. really really 45 you joking uh, on a corner and it stinks so it's the Phil 480 chip shop run next, no, 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 not next week. This weekend, it's this weekend, I think. 
So if you guys are going to go on the chip shop run, I will be there. I'm hoping it's good weather because I really want it to be a nice weather ride out and then have some nice fish and chips at the end of it, which is the whole point. <laughs> but yeah, so if you're going on that, I'll see you there. If you're not going on that, you're missing out. You should be going on that. I think there's going to be quite a few people actually, if it's good weather. I'm not sure how many people will still turn up if it's not good weather. Hello. You never know with these things. Oh, we're behind a big van thing. Oh well. Oh no, we're behind a big van thing now. Oh, that's a cute doggy. Hello. He was trying to shoot me with his twig. Didn't work. It wasn't a very effective twig. Maybe when he's older, he'll have a more effective twig. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the chip shop run. That should be really nice. I keep tickling you guys, don't I? I keep tickling you. But it's because we've had really shitty, horrible rain today. Sticky rain that comes off the floor and then sticks to you again. And it's nasty. And I hate it when I'm editing footage and there's a big fucking blob on the screen, like here somewhere. Or here somewhere. It's just it's just a nightmare. Nightmare times. Oh, where's where's these people going now? Are you going my way? Or are you going the other way? my way okay i knew it i knew it there was a 50 50 chance and most cars go this way to be fair because most people surely will be going to chichester and not whatever the fuck is the other way hello thanks for creeping out dick look at all the daffodils all the daffodils everywhere that means it's spring right doesn't it doesn't that mean it's spring that means that the weather has changed maybe changing are we on the up Although a little old lady told me today that we were expecting snow. And I was like, meh, really? And then I looked it up online. There's no evidence of snow in the forecast anywhere. I think she was just a bit crazy. I can actually get some petrol here from some nice petrol people. So I will do this. I will do this now. They've got a doggy in there on the windowsill. I'll show you. They're pretty popular. Pretty popular petrol peoples. Popular petrol peoples. I always go to this pump as well. I find that I'm a bit weird. I go to the same places each time. Hiya. Hiya, number six, please. Thank and those as well. Hello. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye -bye. Well, the cucumber dildo won't fit. There we go. <laughs> I think that lady heard me say cucumber dildo because she looked at me quite strangely. I didn't mean it. It's fruit, isn't it? It's for, it's for going in your mouth. You wouldn't really get any nutrients any other way. <laughs> fuck off. Really? What the fucking hell? Jesus Christ, can they not drive? 